Hey everyone, welcome to Strom number 11, the April edition. It's turning spring and it's getting warmer and warmer. We have a lot of flowers here in Zurich. It was a sunny day and I'm super happy to present new music with my friend Atlas Castle in this episode of our monthly vlog. And we have super cool tracks for you in this episode from Crosstiff, Joshua James Whitman from iBot, Formal Process, Alpha Mount, Audible Void, songs from Tin Pan Alley. There's a track from Wilk Kick, a lot of PVC stuff. And we have a special guest in this show as well. I hope you're gonna enjoy the next roughly 30 minutes of music, uh, 60 minutes of music. And we're gonna start with an artist that you already know under his name, Item. And Item has a new project or a side project called Hold and Sample. And he just released the first EP. The EP is titled Re-Entry and I've selected the song Neon Flickers. It is very Detroit Berlin connection style. So you're gonna see that my tracks, all of them are kind of Berlin related in this show. So the first track is Neon Flickers from Hold and Sample. Enjoy that.
what's up everyone? So we're back for a new episode of Strom. Of course, together with my good mate and friend 59 Palin, Matthias. And yeah, it's episode 11. We're back on track and we are pretty much looking forward to share new tracks with you guys. So yeah, that track from before, from Hold and Sample, that one was good, right? One of my favorite. And yeah, it's quite fresh, quite new. Just got released under his latest EP. So if you haven't checked it out, please just check the description under the video because all the links are there for you guys to just click on and enjoy. So please do so and remember to support the music and the artist that you care about. It's super important. And yeah, I guess it's my turn now to share a track from someone that I think is relevant for you to listen to. And the next track is from a French guy called Christophe and his moniker is Crustif. The track is called Beyond and it's coming straight out of his latest EP called Purple, who just got released under Golden Forest Records. If you guys are into dub techno, minimal, bit I would say like house it feels and like 90s vibe. This one is definitely for you. So please hold on because that's a really nice one. And we have so much more music coming for you right after. Okay, see you in a bit.
Welcome back, guys. That was Cross Div Beyond. And um, in the meantime, I got surrounded by a lot of cuddly pets. <laughs> and um, I thought the Swan is a very nice uh, transition to the next track that I've selected. Even this album is titled Orbital Patterns. Um, I think the music is pretty ambient, or it is an ambient track, which is beautiful. Um, the artist is from um, my other label that I release with. It's Shady Rich Records. And um, the owner or the head of this label is Joshua James Whitman, a friend of mine. And I'm going to play his track Preamble, which is the opener of his album Orbital Patterns. And I thought this track could be very nice for this swan um, to swim in. And I think you're going to agree with me on that. So enjoy this beautiful ambient piece from Joshua James Whitman, Preamble. And here we are again, that track from Joshua right before. That was something right. I didn't know about that track actually before listening to it right now. And wow, 
going straight into my playlist. That's something I could just listen to when I need to focus or even relax or get inspiration and just get lost in sounds and in the moment. That one really talked to me, so I really need to check some more of his music. And yeah, this being said, I think I should come up with the next track. And that next one is from one of our good friend, also PVC member, called iBot. And the man released recently, like, I would call it an EP, but I would as well say that it's a collection of live jams. And you know me, how I get triggered when we talk about live, when we talk about the momentum, about inspiration of just going with the flow, pressing records, and just going somewhere, see where it leads. And that's what iBot is doing here. And to me, it's always like beautiful and amazing and as well working well. So without further waiting, please enjoy iBot and heavy water.
Hi there, my name is Jesse. I go by Hexwave and I'm an artist under PVC and I'm honored to be able to be the guest this month on Nostrum. So thanks to Guillaume and Matthias for that opportunity. Yeah, I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and I hope you're enjoying the show so far wherever you are. And uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying all the great tunes and we still got more to come. Uh, the one that I'm going to pick is by an artist in the U.S. It goes by Formal Process. Uh, this artist is, um, he's, he's a workhorse. He, he, like, makes jams every other day. Uh, they're always, like, so interesting and different. And he always has crazy different videos with cool visualizations going along with them all the time. I don't know how he does it. Uh, I take I take weeks to make songs, so it's very impressive to me. Um, so yeah, he um, he does a lot of songs. He he describes as like dream core, and he does a lot of like glitchy type stuff. Um, it's always it's very unique. Um, it's hard to describe really, but so a lot of really cool songs. His new album, Future Clarity. Um, you should really check it out, get on Bandcamp or listen on Spotify or whatever. But uh, the song that I'm picking from it is called Orb Orbital Pull. Um, it's a cool, like, spacey track uh, with a really cool beat. Um, yeah, uh, just, I hope you enjoy it. I really love this song. And, yeah, just check it out and check him out. And, yeah. Also, just to mention, I have a, another show. Um, similar to Strum, but no video. It's called Patterns and Noise Radio. If you want to check it out, it's also a PVC show, so maybe check that out. And uh, yeah, anyways, here's Formal Process Orbital Pull. Enjoy. <laughs>
Welcome back guys to Strom 11 with Atlas Castle and me 59 Pearl. I wanted to change the position to present you the next track, but Rocco doesn't allow me, so I got to stay here and let him sleep on. Now he's going to leave. Okay, bye. Um anyway, um I want to ask you or I want to make a little guess a, a little quiz with you and I want to ask you if you can recognize this synth. Um, it's a synth, it's a shirt that I got during um, last year's Super Booth, which is in Berlin. And I'm looking forward to Super Booth 2023, which is going to happen next month in the middle of May. And I can't wait to get there. And the atmosphere is cool. And a couple of guys from PVC are joining as well. So here is a little shout out to Milan. Um, to oh my god i forgot the names to armin and to yukio they're gonna join me and i'm gonna meet them in berlin and i think we're gonna have a super cool time if you are in berlin drop us a line and we're gonna um and we're gonna arrange a little meeting um also in berlin is um a lot of modular going on and I would say 50% of the um, exhibitions and exhibitors are modular based, which is actually not my business at the moment, but um, it's the business of Alpha Mount. And Alpha Mount um, produced an album which is titled Still Explorations. Um, and I'm going to play a track for you, which is titled Still Explorations Component 2 Unit B. Um, and he says about this album, it's an early snapshot of his journey into the modular world. So um, we gonna play this track and I think it's really lovely. It has nice textures, um, it has very nice sounds and I really enjoyed this track. I hope you're gonna enjoy this too. This is Alpha Mount Still Explorations Component 2 Unit B from Modular.
Oh yeah, Alpha Mound. That man, I still have a lot of respect for him and as well for his process as an artist. The man is so prolific and really good at what he is doing actually. And it's inspiring. It's the kind of musician that I really look up to in a way. And I always respect consistency in what people are doing. And this man is a real good example of consistency in your art and in the direction you believe when it comes to art and music. So check him out because it will be worth your time, that's for sure. So let's talk about who I choose for the next track. And that's none other than another one of my good virtual friend called Audible Void, Luther. This man is from USA. And what you're going to listen to is one of those spontaneous tracks that he just put out on there on the Bandcamp once in a while. Um, that's some of the moves that I find amazing, like when suddenly I can have notifications on my phone and I can just read like Audible Boy just released a new track on Bandcamp out of the blue, out of nowhere. And I'm just generally getting excited because I know the man. I know his process, I know the way he cares about textures, sound, and sometimes dark matters, but always as well, like, he has a sense and a touch going towards, like, trip-up, hip-up, and down-tempo electronica in a way. So I never really know what to expect, even though I kind of know what's coming, but I always get surprised. And that track, Le Franc, surprised me, so I hope you will like it. Enjoy, guys.
Welcome back everyone to Strom 11. You just heard Alpha Mount with Le Franc. Um, we stay in Berlin with my next track selection. And um, it is the last track that I selected tonight. And the track that I'm going to play for you is from an artist based in Denmark. His name is Songs from Tin Pan Alley. And um, he produced an album which is titled Stands Till 3. Um, it is an epi it is the last episode of a series, so there are three albums in a row, and this is the last one of these uh, Standstill Three tri trilogy, uh, Standstill trilogy episode number three, and I'm going to play the track before leaving. Um, it is a super nice, um, super dense track, and he produced this entire album in four days in Berlin in a cozy apartment that he wrote in on his Bandcamp page. And um, he did these tracks without um, overdubbing. So all the tracks were one takers and um, produced for this album without any overdubbing. I really love this concept. I did that a lot as well in the past. Um, and I enjoyed this album from the first minute. And I think you're going to like this track as well. This is Songs from Tin Pan Alley before leaving from his album Standstill 3, available also on Petit Victory Collective. Thank you. 
And that was Songs from Tin Pan Alley with Before Living. If you enjoyed the track, remember that you can support and get the full album going with it on our Ben Kemp label page. And last but not least, remember that we are a non-profit label. For every time you buy an album, a track, merchandising, all the money goes straight back to the artist. I think it's worth saying and remembering. And this being said, thanks to Jesse for being a guest of choice in this month's episode of Strum. As you know, we want you guys to send us way more music and to share music with the world with us. So don't be shy, jump in and just ask if you can be part of this because we're just waiting on you, we're waiting for your music, your test, your choice and we're waiting on being surprised by what you're gonna bring. So yeah, don't be shy, we're waiting. And as you may have guessed, we are now reaching the end of this month's episode of Strum. And I'm the one closing. To do so, I've chosen a track from Wilk Kick. We recently released an EP with him under PVC. And it's pretty interesting. It's a nice one. It's, it's made out of electron machines. Like that one. And yeah. All the sounds the sample, the textures, it's like, you can really, I mean, I'm used to the engines and I'm used to the workflow with them. You can really like sense how it's been built up together. I've been lucky enough to visit his studio and I've been invited to listen and check his workflow as well, which was super inspiring to witness and follow with. So the sounds are really talking to me in a deeper way because I'm really attached to the electronic device in a way and the what you can get out of those boxes. So I'm quite sure you're gonna love the track as much as I do. The track is called Detry. It's a long one. I think it's a little bit over eight minutes. And I think the title said it all. If I say Detroit, what are you gonna think about? techno maybe i think you're right so yeah that was it for me today thank you again for being part of what we're doing here thanks again for caring listening supporting sharing comments and just being you guys all right take all good care and we will see you next month for a new episode of strom see you soon <laughs>